Hello again, it's Tom with Digital Foundry. We've seen how Xbox One improves frame rates in Red Dead Redemption over Xbox 360 when played via backwards compatibility. It's a much better playing game, but that's nothing compared to the frame rate improvements we see in its expansion, Undead Nightmare, when played on Xbox One. So the point here is pretty simple. This expansion fills towns with zombies and a fog effect too, all of which combine to make the original 360 version drop more often than the main game. Here the Xbox 360's big drops to 20 FPS and tearing happen from the off. Within the first 30 minutes you'll see plenty of sluggish playback on 360, and as you can see, the move to Xbox One does wonders for this. I best go find me a doctor in town. Is it an even 30 FPS on Xbox One? No, not quite. Even approaching a zombie infested Blackwater town, you'll see a small dip to 28 FPS on Microsoft's newer console. But the fact is you're getting a much smoother experience by and large, and almost every other test runs at that 30 FPS target. And of course, all that tearing we see at the top of the screen on 360 is removed too, which is par for course with backwards compatible titles. Compared to the main game, the boost in performance in this expansion is more readily apparent when played on Xbox One. Again, there's nothing in the way of visual enhancements compared to the 360 version, but that's all expected. The only slight nuisance here is that if you have the physical Game of the Year edition, inserting the disc for this expansion tees up a separate 7.5GB download to the core content, so that'll be 15GB overall, but it's well worth it to see Undead Nightmare playing at its very best. So there you have it, definitely worth a shot if you've got the game tucked away in your library, and it rounds off one of the best backwards compatible releases on Xbox One. That's all from me though, do like and subscribe if you found this useful, and until next time, bye for now.